Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing a perfume tag video. And the person that created this tag is Miss Karina Waldron. Uh, she is a lovely YouTuber. She's been on YouTube a while. I've actually followed her for a while, but over the past year or so, she's been doing a lot more perfume content. And I have to say, I love her fragrance stuff. Like me and her, I feel are very similar as far as our tastes go. So as soon as she uploads a video about fragrance, I'm like all in. Now she also does makeup. <clears throat> She does makeup and a little bit of hair stuff as well. And initially I started following her for her makeup stuff. Um, and here I am now watching her fragrance video. So I love Karina. If you're not subscribed to her, make sure you check out her video down below and go subscribe to her. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so for this video, we're gonna be talking about 10 perfumes for 10 occasions. And I'm using the same categories that Karina used, which is why we're calling this a tag video. Um, she did tag anybody who wanted to do it. So if y'all want to do it, make sure y'all do it too and um, link back to her video. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm using the 10 categories that she used, but really there are so many occasions that you could wear a fragrance to. And I'm definitely a type of person who wears fragrance not only based on my mood, but also based on where I'm going, what time of the year it is, what I'm wearing, you know, what's the vibe that day, pretty much. I am very... Um, you know, I'm very particular on what I wear as far as fragrance goes, probably because I have a big collection. So, you know, I know I feel like certain fragrances just fit certain activities. So let's go ahead and get into the categories. So the first category is office meeting. And for this particular office meeting, you are the CEO, you are the boss. And so for me, if I'm the boss, I'm going to wear something that stands out and that makes me feel like powerful, strong, sexy even. <laughs> That's just me. Um, and for this category, I decided to go with Mancera Instant Crush. Now, I have talked about this before, uh, but this is a, oh gosh, a sweet like cotton candy type scent. So in that way, it's kind of similar to Baccarat Rouge, but it's definitely more fruity. Uh, to me, it has more depth, almost like it has incense in it. I know it does have saffron as a note, so that's probably what I'm smelling. Um, this is one of those fragrances that to me is very hard to explain how it smells, but it is definitely a head turner. I get tons of compliments whenever I wear this. It does last all day, which to me is important. If you are the boss, you're leading the meeting, like, I know some people probably don't agree with this. Some of you all think that if you're in an office setting that you should definitely always wear something very like, hmm. But for me, I like to have a boss type fragrance if I'm the boss. Like, <laughs> even if I'm not the boss, honestly, I like to wear boss type fragrances. But if I am the boss and I'm leading a meeting, I definitely don't feel bad about wearing something a little bit heavier. Um, I wouldn't overspray this for sure because you could kind of like choke some people out, I guess, if you went too hard. Um, but if you spray this normally, I definitely think this is a fragrance that will make people like pay attention to you. So the next category is an office meeting again, but this time you're not the boss. So you're just an employee, you're in the office meeting. That means you're probably gonna be in close quarters with a big or medium sized group of people. But um, in that case, I kind of feel like if I'm not the boss, I don't wanna stand out too much, but I still want people to think I smell good if they're sitting next to me. And I still wanna feel like I smell my smell like myself <laughs> and I feel confident in my fragrance. Uh, so the fragrance that I picked is C by Chloe. Now this one is discontinued sadly, but I love it. This is a bottle I just got. Um, I ended up finding one on Mercari. Um, I had another bottle that I have completely used up now, but to me this I don't know this one smells like me I've never smelled this on anybody else but it has like a green apple note to it I believe it has honey in it um, so it's sweet it's a tiny bit floral um, but mainly fruity from the apple um, when it comes to fruity fragrances I don't typically love like raspberry type fruity but I do like apple orange type fruity <laughs> so that's what this is so because this is discontinued i did want to mention another fragrance and this is one that i have worn quite a bit this is actually my second bottle of this too uh, and i've worn this to work a lot this 
I typically only wear this to work or it's like a dumb reach fragrance where if I don't know what I want to wear I can go for this but this is Jimmy Choo Illicit and to me this is a great like work scent I think it would do great in an office meeting because it's not too loud but it still smells really good so if somebody's really close to you they'll probably smell it on you but the person two three seats down is not going to smell you they're not going to smell you when you walk in the room um even the person next to you may not smell you unless they're sitting pretty close you know so um i think it would be perfect for like a work meeting um to me this smells like honey maybe a bit of floral in it but not overly floral to me the honey is definitely the most prominent note in this and then it has some depth to it maybe i think I think it has amber in it. That's what it smells like anyway. Um, so yeah, definitely a very nice work appropriate scent, but it's still one that I feel is not so generic. Um, so you will smell a bit different. So the next category is wedding guests. And for me, when I thought about this category, I immediately thought of one particular fragrance and that is from the house of Tom Ford. And the fragrance is Champaka Absolute. When I smelled this fragrance for the first time, I immediately thought of wedding. And you definitely could wear this as the bride too, but we're gonna get into the bridal fragrance that I chose in a second. But um, to me, as a wedding guest, I feel like this will be nice because it's, it's definitely there, like it shows up. It's floral, but a bit darker. I think it has notes of cognac in it. Um, and then it has a bit of green in it. So every time I think about this fragrance, I think about like drinking champagne or drinking alcohol in a garden, <laughs> a beautiful like white garden of flowers. So it's very, very beautiful. Um, it's one of the scents that I um, included in my spring favorite or spring fragrance video. Um, and I just feel like there's nobody that would smell you that wouldn't like this. It's a very pleasant scent in my opinion but it's not a boring white floral, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, Champaka Absolute to me is a definite win for a uh, wedding guest. So for here, I'm gonna go a little bit out of order from what Karina did. And the next category I'm gonna talk about is being a bride. Now she did talk about this category too, but she talked about it a little bit further down the list. So for me, if I were a bride, I think at this point, point in my life if I were a bride this is the fragrance I would choose on my actual wedding day just a little tidbit I actually wore Marc Jacobs Daisy I've been married almost 11 years so at that point Marc Jacobs Daisy was kind of new I believe um and I used to really love that scent and I still have it I don't really wear it anymore but I keep it for sentimental reasons but if I were a bride at this point in my life same Aisha getting married I would definitely go for this red bottle, this beauty here. Uh, this is Maison Francis Kirchgan Baccarat Rouge 540 X Straight De Parfum. So we all have heard of Baccarat Rouge 540 at this point. I feel like if you watch any type of fragrance video on YouTube, you read any type of fragrance literature, I don't know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> you've heard of Baccarat Rouge 540. I love the extract. This is new to me. It has that bitter almond in it. It still has that candy, um, like candy, um, what's it called? What's the fluffy stuff? Cotton candy. Cotton candy type vibe, but it has that bitter almond in it that kind of like softens it and rounds it. I get tons of compliments when I wear this. And the reason I would choose it as a bride is I feel like it would be one that I would stand out in the crowd. Even though Baccarat Rouge is becoming quite popular on YouTube, it's still like in my regular life, I've never personally smelled it on anybody. Um, so I feel like you would still stand out wearing either re regular Baccarat Rouge or this one. But to me, this one is just more pretty, more well-rounded. So even if I had both, I would still go for this one because I feel like it's more of a pretty bridal scent. So the next category is if you are going on an interview. So if I were going on an interview, I don't want to wear something that's going to be offensive to the person interviewing me. Um, and I don't want to wear something too loud where all they're thinking about is I can't wait to get out of the room with this person with this strong perfume. <laughs> so for me, I wanted to pick something that I feel like is very likable to others um, that doesn't smell too strong or project too much. 
but I still want to smell good and I won't mind if the person who's interviewing me smells my good fragrance you know when they shake my hand or whatever so the perfume that I chose is Monger Lange again I feel like I've talked about this in several videos but I just feel like this is one of those fragrances that's really good for so many so many occasions uh, this is lavender and vanilla which sounds super basic but it smells super good I feel like Guerlain does vanilla like no other. So even though it's like a kind of a basic scent, for some reason, it it doesn't smell similar to anything else I have in my collection. I feel like this is definitely a scent that most people will like on you. Um, and that it's kind of like very calm and comforting. And that's the kind of like vibe I want to go for if I'm going on an interview. I'm already nervous enough. I don't want to be thinking about my fragrance. I just want to know confidently that I smell good and that anybody that smells me is going to think the same. So the next category is if you're going on a dinner date and she did describe this as like your first or second date. Now it's been like a super long time since I've been on a first date <laughs> but at this point in my life if I was going on a first date with somebody the fragrance that I would choose would be Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Now the reason that I chose this is because if I'm going on a first date, I want a fragrance that's going to be like memorable to that person. But at the same time, I don't want it to be like too unlikable. So now I know a lot of people have mixed opinions about Love Don't Be Shy. And even when my husband, he smelled it like on a piece of paper, it wasn't his favorite. But for me, I wear fragrance for me. <laughs> and if I'm going on a first date, of course, I don't want to like give somebody a headache. But at the same time, I want to go wearing something that I feel like super confident in. And I feel like this makes me feel like super confident, super sexy. Um, I do feel like it will be a memorable scent. And yeah, I love it. <laughs> so, hey, this smells like, oh gosh, so good. So it definitely has a boozy quality to it. It has orange blossom in it. I think marshmallow or like whipped cream. So it's definitely a gourmand. But because of that booziness, I don't know, it makes it feel like deeper and darker and heavier for nighttime. Also, if you haven't heard, this is said to be Rihanna's like signature scent and people have talked about how delicious she always smells. Like who doesn't want to smell delicious like Rihanna? Like, come on, who? Anybody? Okay, got it. So the next category is weekend getaway and Karina described this one as like a getaway with your significant other so maybe you're going to like a nice hotel or going on like a tropical vacation or well, not a long vacation just a weekend trip um so for me generally if I were going on a weekend trip I would definitely take at least two fragrances because I like to have a daytime scent and a nighttime scent and that's bare minimum <laughs> however to go along with this tag I decided to just pick a one and because I'll be going with my uh boo thing or whoever <laughs> I would want to make sure that whatever I'm wearing is like sexy enough for nighttime but still like easy enough for daytime um and if I'm going to a hot place I don't want something that's going to be like too overpowering so the fragrance that I picked is lost cherry by tom ford now i know i've featured this fragrance a lot and that's because i honestly love it it is almond cherry it has some depth to it mm. i just i feel like i will never get tired of smelling this and because of that because i love the way it makes me feel when i smell it i feel like it will be great for a weekend getaway it's definitely se sexy but it's also soft enough for daytime um, and then you can kind of spray on more for nighttime. So absolutely love Lost Cherry and it would definitely be like a weekend getaway for me. So the next category is a beach vacation. And as soon as I saw this category, I was like, no question. If I'm only taking one fragrance on a beach vacation, it's definitely gonna be Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. To me, this is like the ultimate beach scent. It's like a sunscreen scent but it's a sophisticated one so if you like Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess you will probably like this one too they do not smell the same but to me they're kind of in that same vein kind of like sun-kissed skin and sand <laughs> and coconut for sure but this one to me just smells like a super super classy version of that and I actually feel like you could wear this day or nighttime. Uh, for me, I generally only wear it in the day, but I have worn it at night before, especially like on a super hot, sticky night at a beach. 
this will be perfect um and this is the eau de parfum version of this the next category is if you are going to a jazz club or a bar and for me i picked another one from by killian and this is back to black this one i've actually worn to like a lounge <laughs> So it's probably why it came to my head like immediately but I feel like if I'm going to one of those places I want to kind of smell kind of boozy like I fit in kind of smoky scents um I don't want it to be the same thing that everybody else is wearing I want it to kind of stand out and I feel like if you're going to that type of place it can be something like really heavy and you know something that projects a lot so for me back to black is that it is honey tobacco maybe i don't know if it has incense in it but to me the honey and tobacco are what really stand out in this it may have some almond in there as well but it is sweet but it is definitely deep this is definitely a unisex fragrance so i know this won't be for everybody i could definitely see a man pulling this off very very easily but to me it's just very intoxicating and sexy and if i were going to a club especially if i was single and i had this on i feel like the men like would, would not get off of me <laughs> just kidding <laughs> all right so this last category is if you are going to meet your new significant others parents for the first time so meeting the parents uh for me if i am going to meet the parents i definitely want to smell likable because i want to make a good first impression because obviously if i'm going to meet the parents then I probably think very highly of this person that I'm with. So that means I want to make a good impression upon their parents. So I want to smell likable, but at the same time, I definitely want to smell like me. Uh, I want to wear something that I love because when I wear things that I love, that actually makes me feel more confident, more at ease. Um, it makes me feel happier. <laughs> so every time I get a whiff of my fragrance, I feel like that's just a mood booster for me. I don't know if any of y'all feel like that, but for me, it definitely is. So I'm not the type of person who will just wear any old fragrance because the sales associate told me it smells good and it doesn't matter to me. No, that's not my personality. So I definitely want to wear something that's me and I definitely still want to wear something that is not super common just because I feel like it'll make me stand out some, but I still want it to be likable. Okay, ramble over. The fragrance I picked. <laughs> is from mason martin margiela and this is from the replica line and it is none other than lipstick on i love this perfume now one reason that i picked it is because it has sort of a vintage smell to it so i feel like that would be very appealing to people that are older than me um so whatever parents i would be meeting or grandparents that i would be meeting um it kind of has that old vintage makeup smell to it so it's powdery it's sweet but not like a sweet that you want to eat it's like a, a sweet makeup -y scent uh, which i absolutely love it also has like i don't know maybe like a a boozy note in it or a vanilla like a boozy vanilla background to it so it's sweet and uh a tad bit spicy but also that vintage like lipstick smell it this smells so good guys and i keep trying to find fragrances that smell like this but honestly nothing measures up to me it's not the longest lasting but because i love it so much i will happily happily decant some of this into a small like travel container and take it with me like to me is that good and actually the last time i wore it it actually lasted a lot longer than what i remember so i don't know maybe my skin chemistry is changing it lasts longer on me now but either way i don't care if this would last for two hours i would still <laughs> rock it on me it probably lasts about four to five hours where i can really smell it um so if that matters to you then maybe this won't be the scent for you but honestly it smells so good that i do not care i love this stuff i have reviewed this on my blog so i'll link that down below and i don't think i've reviewed any of the other ones on my blog but if i have i'll definitely leave them down below for you guys uh, but yeah thank you karina for doing this video if you're watching my video i had a lot of fun picking these 10 fragrances for 10 occasions i hope you guys out there enjoyed watching this video if you want to do this tag video definitely i tag you uh, make sure y'all show karina some love and tag her because she 
her channel is not tiny but I definitely think she deserves more subscribers. So I always like to shout people out if I can. I mean, I know my subscriber base is not that big, but we are a close-knit family here. And I feel like if I really like her, y'all probably will too. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.